Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing a review on the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation. It is an oil-free satin finish. Um, it says mine is nude, light, medium with pink, peachy undertones. So this is my perfect shade. Here it is. Up close. Oh, the sun, I'm using natural lighting and the sun is horrible. But there you go. Um... So yeah, if you want to see how it blended out and how it wears throughout the day, just go ahead and keep on watching. Oh, my eye is so irritated and I was so excited to film this video because I was supposed to do it last week. But um, then my face got all messed up and all dry and all patchy so I wasn't able to do it. So I didn't want that to like affect my review on the foundation. Um, but now my eyes all messed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do face makeup. I mean, it's already on the foundation anyway. So I'm just going to do face makeup and then um, hopefully everything works out. I'm just, I'll put like a little bit of mascara, but I won't do eyeshadow or any of that. So my, right now my face is still a little bit dry. And it's literally on all of my oil spots. So I used to be super oily down here on my T-zone, around my nose, and on my forehead. My forehead and my chin are good now. Um, but I still have dry patches like on my face. So what's been working for me right now is um, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus 3-in-1. So it's like the primer and to set your makeup and to refresh your makeup throughout the day. So this has been working really well for me. Um, sometimes I even spray it on my face without wearing any makeup just because it's been fixing my dry patches. So just to give the foundation a fair shot, that's what I'm gonna prime my face with. Uh, my face is already clean. Um, so I just gotta spray that primer on. And I've tried this foundation before, but um, it was too dark for me when I got it because they hadn't branched their shades. So they have a bunch of new shades now. It's the ELF Flawless, the ELF Flawless Finish Foundation. This is how it looks. Looks a little dirty. I, I bought it like that. I don't know. Um, I've tried it before, but I only tried it once and it was way too dark. So I had just wiped it off. So I don't know how it works. I don't know. I know that it's oil free satin finish. So that's really good. It's also in the shade Nude. <laughs> I did test it um, in the store and it matched really well. So thankfully the Vegas weather hasn't made me dark yet. Um, I actually got super light because I used to be darker that I had to like give one of my foundations away to my niece. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and try that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with this. Shake it up. I like to test the spritzer first to make sure like it's spritzing, spritzing, spraying right. And I'm just gonna use this little handheld mirror because I don't have a setup yet in our new apartment. I'm looking into getting a desk and like a ring light and stuff, but hopefully soon. So this is all I've been doing. This is what's been working for me. Sometimes I just spray it throughout the day and I don't put any type of makeup on other than chapstick. Um, just because like my face has been super dry. And I haven't washed my... Um... <sighs> Why can't I think or talk? I haven't cleaned my beauty blender, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with a brush. And this is my ELF Foundation Blurring Brush. I believe it's $6 at Ulta. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and go on in. I think I'm going to do another spray, actually. Oh, shit, this is loose. Tighten it. For some reason, the Ulta's here have um, really bad reviews and I tried to go to the one with the best reviews and even then their makeup was like dirty, stained, um, 
one of the foundations was actually open and just like put there so it wasn't a tester because they put testers on their things that are testers so it was very hard like i had to um like look through all of the elf makeup to even find find it i thought i wasn't gonna find my shade and i was so sad but um I started shopping at Ulta just because like I used to buy all of my stuff at like Target or Walmart and I still do when Ulta doesn't have something that I need but I feel like just so shopping at Ulta you get more for your money because although it may be like like although it may be like a dollar or a few cents more than like Target or Walmart you do get points like if you give them your phone number you get reward points now this isn't sponsored by Ulta just I'm just telling you because that's what it's gonna work i wish this was sponsored by something but no it's not <laughs> um so now the mirror's all dirty with the spray but, so i'm just gonna go ahead and put a few drops of this on my face can you shake it up hopefully it doesn't come out like watery because it's just been sitting there that noise. Maybe I should put it on something first. Um, I don't know. Okay, there we go. I look crazy but it's supposed to be an oil free light to medium um, what, what is that just kidding it's supposed to be oil free satin finish it says apply a small amount starting at the center of the face and blend outwards using fingertips a sponge or foundation brush now this is really true um, I did half of my face inside of Ulta with just my fingers and the coverage was amazing like i don't even know i'm gonna look at the camera it's just easier than to do it like this or i'll just do it like this so you guys don't i don't know i'm trying not to get so much by my eyes just because i don't want to irritate them anymore but um i had just blended it out like to make sure that the shade was right and the way it blended with just my fingers alone was amazing. So I'm just going to blend this out. I think I put way too much on this side. So it's giving me like a hard time. I always go in with my ALF Flawless Concealer Brush to blend out my foundation by my eyes. I have really dark circles right now. Um, I forgot to do a step actually from lately I've been um like two days ago I did my makeup was it two days ago on Easter I don't know when Easter was but um I did my makeup and I did like concealer over my redness before my foundation and it looked so good so um Anyway, like I was saying, I get distracted so easily. But I do um, blend my, even my foundation out with a concealer brush. Like, just by my, um, by my eyes just to blend it out a little better. Because this brush is obviously too big to be, um, like, in the corners of the eyes. Now it does smell a little bit like SPF. I think it has SPF in it. But I don't know like how much or which. But that's really good. SPF in your foundation is good. Um, just because that's like sunscreen. So it's protected from the sun. And clearly I need that because I started getting a bunch of dry patches. <laughs> like all on my all on my face which is it was so weird my face has never been dry 
it's always been super oily and I didn't know like what it was from like did I use some wrong products because I've been switching up my um, skincare but I just didn't know what it was from and although it's a perfect match I still like to blend it down to my neck but And if you're confused, like Vegas, well, what are you talking about? Vegas, the heat. Um, go watch my latest. Go watch my latest video, and you will see that we moved to Vegas. So see how like it just looks so good. I'm gonna add just a bit more onto the brush this time, though. Oh, it's getting so dirty. Just for a little bit more coverage, like, in my cheeks. I'm breaking out so bad out here. Oh my god, it's, like, horrible. I need to find new skincare products that are actually going to work for my face. No, it does definitely give a satin finish, and... Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. I'm used to matte finishes, obviously, because of the oily skin problem. Um, but we'll see how it dries down and stuff. It's looking pretty good, though. Um, at least I think so. Now, sorry, my setup is so weird. I'm just gonna go in on the small spots with, like I said, my um, concealer brush. I have like three of these, so I just ran my freaking, I don't know. Already? So that's that. Now, um, I am going to go ahead and go in with um, the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in the shade Light Medium. Looks like this. $2. That's all it costs. $2. And at Ulta, if you buy $15 or more, you get a three... Um, so you guys spend $15 before tax and then you get a $2.50 coupon. So that's really good. And now I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. complexion brush. Paul got me all these brushes that I'm mentioning. They were in like an e.l.f. Um, gift set. They always have them during like Christmas time, but you can get them separately. And I think they still have like the brush set. It's just not called the Christmas gift set anymore yeah so i'm just like grabbing a little on my brush tapping the excess off it looks super light let's see hopefully i don't ruin this but i need something to set my makeup and i don't have any loose powder now let's just see Now, I'm not going to do concealer. I know my eyes probably need it because I, my eyes is looking crazy. But I'm not going to do it because I do not want to irritate my eyes at all. Oh, it looks pretty good, actually. Let me see. Yeah. I didn't ruin anything. No, what I am noticing is that my fine lines here, you can't really tell on camera. But they are peeking through, like, it creased really fast. Now, I'd expect that from a matte foundation, but I wouldn't expect that from a satin foundation. It's my first time using a satin foundation, but I've seen others use it, and it didn't do that. So, works good for others, might not work good for you. Now, I'm just going to um, finish up my face my face makeup and for my bronzer I'm gonna go in with the wet and wild color icon color icon bronzer 
Now, I don't think I'm going to be mentioning all the products that I use just because like the main focus is the foundation. So, I mean, the foundation looks good. It's just those swan lines that creased right here. But now let's get to bronzing. Now when I do bronzer, I just go in and bronze my skin. I don't do like contour. I'm while bronzing. I do it after. Like I don't focus on like the depths of my cheek. Until after. I do just put my cheek though like this. I probably look crazy. Paul's gonna edit this like, what is you doing? <laughs> and then I just drag it down to match the rest of my skin. Just to give my whole face like a bronzy look. I used to be so much darker. Like, the first time I ever got the e.l.f. foundation, um, I was two shades darker. Like, I got, I got the darkest shade that they had, because again, they didn't, they didn't, um, have many shades before. But now that they do, I see, like, it would have been two shades darker before. I don't know if that makes sense, but... Just know that I used to be darker. Now, the other day I used this for highlight, so just gonna. And now to um, focus the contour and the, to the depths of my cheek, I'm gonna go in with the Elf bronzer in Forever Sunkissed. This is just how it looks. And I go in with this Elf Small Tapered Brush. This brush is perfect to focus on your, um, like the depths of your cheeks. So perfect for it. And then I just do like a little fishy face. Now you wanna focus your contour like up by your sideburns and bring it down to like the middle. You don't wanna drag it down then you're gonna look droopy. I don't know if this camera quality is doing any justice. But, I mean, the rest of the face doesn't really matter, I guess. Again, the main focus is the foundation. And I will be doing check-ins later. Um, we have some errands to run and stuff like that. We have some things to do, so. All right, that's that. And then I always go back in with the pressed powder. This pressed powder is new. I used to have a different one from, um, what is it? The Rimmel London one. But it was just not my shade anymore. I just go in and blend everything together. I barely pick up any product. Like I just, see, barely any. It's just to blend everything, make everything look seamless. And then I go in with my flat kabuki brush. This is um, the Equate brand from Walmart. And my blush is the Maybelline New York Fit Me in the shade Peach. Yeah, Peach. On the front it says 40. This is how it looks. And this is just to warm up the cheeks a little. I always start at the apples of my cheeks. I just make a smile and then I go up. And 
do it on my nose a little just to give that warm natural look all right so that's that now we're going to move into the eyes um I'm just going with my maybelline mascara I like that old mascara that everybody used to have with the green top if you don't know about this then i guess you're not a real og because everybody had this if you didn't have this then i mean i don't know now i'm just gonna do a little because again i do not want to irritate my eyes any more than what they are already irritated oh And then after this one, I've been liking, this is my first high-end product ever. Um, and it's a sample, so I got it for free with a purchase at Ulta. So I was like, you know what, I'll just try it out. Usually my face doesn't do well with high-end products, but my eyes didn't get irritated with this one. So I just kept using it. I'll probably buy the real size one. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. <laughs> So see, like Ulta always does cute little things, um, especially during their beauty days. Is that what it's called? I forgot what it's called. Like during March and April, 21 Days of Beauty, something like that. But yeah, I got this for free with the purchase, so... I've just been loving it because my eyelashes are really long, but they're really thin. Because I used to pull the mascara off when I was younger and I was taking my makeup off. I didn't know much about makeup or how to take it off. So I would like take a wipey and like rub it. And then whatever was left over, I'd pull it off with my fingernails. And that ruined my eyelashes and made them super thin. I've always had really long eyelashes to the point where like when I was little and I would go get my nails done like 11 um, the ladies where the some guy tiger he would do my nails and the ladies there thought my eyelashes was fake one of them like pulled them and was like are they real I'm like yes they're real but um Honestly, I wear, I'd wear falsies to like make them not look so thin, but I'm still learning to apply them. So uh, yeah, um, and now what we're going to do is I was about to say put some lip gloss on and some nail polish. But I'm just going to put some lip gloss on it, for real. I'm not trying to do too much. And if you don't follow me on any of my social medias, then you wouldn't know that I'm going to start my own business soon. I'm hoping to get it up in like a month and a half or two. Um, so hopefully that all works out. So stay tuned. I'll be announcing um, what kind of business it is once everything is all settled. But it does have to do with makeup um, and like cosmetics and stuff like that. So just stay tuned for that. Um, it's coming very soon. And now that my face is better... Hopefully it stays better and I'll be um, consistent more often. I was really trying to be consistent, but it was just so hard with my face drying up. I don't even know why I grabbed this. My, um, my eyebrows are super uneven, so I've been just like going over them a little bit. Wow, I put the wrong tops. 
Like I don't um, draw them or or fill them in. I just literally just like run through them really quick just to make them look a little better. I usually do this in the beginning, but again, I don't do much, so I always forget. Do you like? I just. I can just do like this, obviously. If I just run through them, continuing the shape of them. Then I've got this belief, brush through. <laughs> My eyelashes are so uneven, but I don't like to do too much to them. So now I'm going to set my face with a spray that I used earlier. Dry it up. I'm not going to do any highlight today because again, I'm not trying to do too much. And after I feel like it's dried down, I go in again just to give that extra moisture because I really want my face to get better. I hate having dry patches. It makes it so itchy and it gets so irritated and red. I hate it and my skin has never done that before and I don't know what to do. I only know how to treat oily skin. So I'm like lost right now and I'm really just trying stuff and see how it works and this is what works for me. So. Just using the scrap from the press powder. But that is the finished look. Um, I'll go ahead and give a check in on how the foundation is wearing. I do have blotting papers by e.l.f. as well. Um, again, not sponsored by Ulta or e.l.f. But maybe if they see that I mention them a lot, I'll get a little sump sump. Um, I just love e.l.f. so much um but i'll go ahead and do an update and i'll show you guys what it looks like before i blot if i have to blot i've heard like this foundation is really good so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try especially with like their new shades and their new um i think they have like a little bit of differences in their formula now um and then next week it won't be the foundation that's the star of the show so again this is what the foundation looks like comes in I believe 40 shades now before I didn't and honestly at Ulta and Alf Alf doesn't have stores anymore I mean at Ulta Target Walmart the shade range sucks so I would suggest like going into the stores and looking to see if they have your shade and just trying it and then if not then go on the Alf website and get it from there now they do have a um, foundation match so basically what you do is you put in like say the makeup revolution foundation is like your perfect foundation it works amazing on you then you put in that name of the brand your foundation shade and then they will match that shade to their perfect shade for you um so say you're like f10 say you're f10 in the makeup revolution i'm f10 um I put that in in the website and then they're going to match me to nude or I believe they match me to nude or sand. Um, and then I put in, since they gave me two, I put in another foundation and that was their own foundation, the acne fighting foundation. And I put in the shade I am for that and then they matched me to nude. But I went into Ulta just to make sure that they had nude and tried it on my face and they had it. So I just got it there. But if they don't have your shade in store, then I suggest doing that, going on their website and um, and putting your perfect shade from other brands and then they'll match you to what shade matches that shade in their, in their shade range. Um, but anyway, 
This week, the star of the show was the foundation. We're going to see how it wears later. Next week, what you've all been waiting for, which was weird when I did that poll on Instagram that you guys chose the foundation because everybody's been asking me um, since they seem like I posted a picture with this, the Poreless Putty Primer. Now, um, I'll probably film this in the next two days and this will probably go up within a day of me filming this. Um, but once I post this video, this one will go up like two days after. I promise you, I have not tried it. I've had this for weeks. If you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, you know that I've had this for weeks. Still brand new. Have not touched it at all. So you guys will see a full, real review. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned for videos that are coming. Um, I've been playing with colors now. Like I have this. <sighs> Elf dead ass played me. Why doesn't the magnet work? I don't know how to put this back in. But I have these colors. I haven't used these yet either. So these will be in a in a video coming again. Like, how does this go? Okay, there we go. And then I've been playing with the colors in here. So you guys will see videos of this. Um, this is the Profusion. You see all these pinks, and blues, purples, stuff like that. So yeah, there is a lot more to come and I'm so excited to share with you guys. So just stay tuned and hey guys so it is later on in the day um a few hours after i did my makeup so basically what i have to say is it has not gotten oily on any of my old spots but i do see like my breakouts peeking through i don't know if you guys can see that but um so that's one thing um, I do know for sure the foundation isn't full coverage, so it's not like I was expecting that, but it just maybe a little bit of more coverage would have been nice. And I can see that it is creasing again on my smile lines. So that's just, that's it about that really. Um, but other than that, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I don't have any complaints other than those two that my blemishes are peeking through and my smile lines are peeking through. Um, I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick update in about two hours again and then we'll see what it does then. But yeah, no oil spots, so that's good. Hey guys, so it is later on in the night. It's about seven, eight-ish. Getting ready to start dinner. Um, I just wanted to give you guys another quick little update. The makeup looks a little gone in this area because I've been blowing my nose. But I just blotted. So I blotted just a little bit like on my forehead and my T-zone because I was feeling a little bit oily, but I didn't look it. I just felt it, so I decided to blot. Um, so I just used these. They're the ALF Shiny Racer Blotting Sheets. Comes 50 in a pack for a dollar. So that's pretty good. Um, they work very well. I've used them before. And again, so that's all that came out. Not that much, but still nasty. Um, so yeah, I would say that the foundation works very well. The only two problems I had were those two problems that I had mentioned earlier. And that is that it started showing my smile lines and my blemishes started to peek through a little bit. But other than that, I think the foundation is very great. Um, I really think you guys should try it out. And again, like I said earlier, if you don't know what your shade is, because in store, the shades suck. Um, just go ahead and go online, um, put in your foundation from other brands, and then they'll match you to your perfect shade for e.l.f. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And yeah, um, I will see you guys in a couple of days. Thanks. Bye.